Hey, Big Jim Country Boy here again today. And um, I made pickled eggs. Um, did it a little while ago. Basically, we use this big old pickle jar. We put an onion in there, cut it up in eighths, big chunks. And um, quite a few pickled eggs. We put in two cans of these whole beets. And then you put all the eggs and stuff in. And then that's all we put in here. You just cover it with... Uh, apple cider vinegar then and let them set and uh, I took all these out okay we're gonna make a recipe with these today but this is all still good and there's only a couple eggs left so I've got Six more hard boiled eggs and I'm just going to drop right back in here. And try not to splash everything in the stein of purple. And we're going to just put that in the fridge for a couple days and then we're going to enjoy some more pickled eggs. Um, I made these pickled eggs with crushed red pepper, a little bit of hot sauce and some apple cider vinegar. Firecracker eggs. Okay, so what we're going to do, today, is we're going to make pickled deviled eggs. You want to talk about deliciousness, low carb snack, the way we're going to do this is we got two bowls. You want to cut your eggs. A little trick so they don't break it. You get a bowl of water, set it here to the side. Okay. You see something floating in there, don't worry. That's I had diced onions in this earlier. That's all this whole piece of onion. You want to wet your knife blade, and that helps you make a nice cut with a nice sharp knife. It won't stick to the blade when it wet. Okay, and then you gently, without breaking the egg, pop all the yolks out. Now you can let them pickle longer until all that white turns purple, but I kind of like that blended look, I and mean, they taste great. So, we got this pan we're going to use for now. And we're going to cut all these eggs, dump the yolk in that bowl, and we're going to put all the eggs out in a platter like this, as you see on the left of the screen. And then when I get that done, we'll be back. Okay, so we got that done. We got 14 eggs cut in half, making 28 pieces in here. One of these aluminum trays. All the yolks are in here. We're going to bust them up a little bit with a potato masher. If you want to just put this right in your food processor and do it, that works nice too. And then, um, You can use whatever kind of mustard you like. Traditionally, people use like a yellow like this. 
Um, if I had my way, I'd use this horseradish, but the family's all not big on horseradish like me. So we're gonna go with the golden spicy brown. And uh, we're gonna go with a quarter cup. We've got some mayonnaise. We're going to start with a quarter cup of that too, equal parts. Take it out of my good or what? And then from there, we'll see how it tastes. We need some uh, cracked black pepper. I like a touch of paprika, but I'm out of it, so we're going to use chili powder today. Just the dusting on the top. I don't think it's a quarter teaspoon, it's probably a lot less. If you want these spicy, you could add anything you want. Crushed red pepper flakes. Um, you want a little sweeter, you can add pickle relish. I've made it with chopped dill pickles, like a dill relish. Garnish the top of them with slices of olives and whatnot. Switch your stirring utensils. Get a nice strong wire whisk. I think it needs another quarter cup of mayonnaise. Perfecto. So now this is where my talents and expertise come to the shape here. Get yourself out one of these zipper seal storage bags. And what we want to do is put all this in the storage bag. This is going to make filling your eggs very easy. Once you get a little in there, sometimes it'll kind of stay open for you.
you're always going to have more than what you need. It goes great on celery sticks or crackers too. Now you want to try to push all this down into one corner. It's easy if you get all the air out. Essentially what we're going to do is use this like a pastry bag. If you want a low keto snack with your leftovers, or a keto snack, a low carb snack, pork rinds are the new potato chip. This whole bag's got like four or five grams of carbs. So put a little bit of that on your leftover uh, mix here. And uh, go to town, low carb, very delicious low carb stuff. Okay, now here's the trick. You just wanna cut off a small opening on the end. Take the corner off like that. And if uh, you need to go bigger, you can. You can't put it back on. And then we're going to take these eggs in our bag and we're going to fill them up like this. Look how easy that is instead of that double spoon crap. Sometimes it makes those interesting sounds too. This is the best part about the cleanup. You just throw this in the garbage now. Now, like I said, you can take a nice slice of an olive, put it on there for garnish, however you like. Today, I'm just going to cover them with some parsley flakes. There you have it. Keto friendly pickled deviled eggs for anybody. <laughs>